Hola muchachos, hello guys, welcome to our second video of our Spanish course. Uh, this second topic is basically an extension of the first one. The first one was the alphabet. The second one deals with the pronunciation of vowels in Spanish. La pronunciación de las vocales en español. Okay, so I'm going to start real simple by reminding you what vowels and consonants are. Uh, they exist both in Spanish and English, and those are your two basic types of letters, vowels and consonants. So what is the difference? Vowels are the letters that make the most sound, basically, and that's because you open your mouth when you pronounce them and your vocal cords which are the organs you use in your throat to produce the sound they vibrate real hard and consonants are the other letters that you pronounce with the mouth more closed and in those the vocal cords vibrate very little and sometimes not at all and the sounds are made with your uh, your tongue and your teeth. So the Spanish vowels are written just like the vowels in English. The vowels in English are A, E, I, O, and U, right? So they are written the same but they are pronounced very differently. The sounds are very different and also, and I will never get tired of insisting on this, they are pronounced with your mouth really open, right? It's like you're exaggerating the sound, okay? So let's go over the sounds of Spanish vowels once again. Ah, like a u and laugh, right? Laugh, ah. E like the E in bell, but really exaggerated and open. E, E. E, like double E in B, but again, really exaggerated. E. O, like the O in York, but this one is probably the most exaggerated. O, like you're really surprised. O, I know it sounds a little silly, but you know, O. Um, you really need to do that if you want to pronounce Spanish correctly. And then, ooh, like the double O in cool, ooh. Okay, a, e, e, o, ooh. You really need to uh, practice that, particularly those of you who only speak English. A, e, e, o, ooh. And try to make those sounds as open and as uh, clear as you can, okay? So, we already know the sounds of those five vowels, a, e, i, o, u. Let's combine them with some consonants. For example, b. We know that b sounds just like the English b. It sounds b. So, let's combine the b sound with our basic vowel sounds in order to pronounce these five syllables. Ba, be, bi, bo, bu. As you can hear, it is a very simple combination of the vowel sounds, a, e, i, o, u, with a consonantal sound, in this case, the bu sound, right? Ba, be, bi, bo. Boo. Let's do another one. They sounds just like D, d, d. So let's do this once again, but with the D sound. Da, de, di, do, do. I know this sounds a little silly, but trust me, you need to practice this. It's very important for communication in Spanish that you pronounce your vowels correctly. Okay? The last one. The f sound for f, fa, fe, fi, fo, fu. Okay. 
the cool thing about Spanish and in this it's very very different from English is that there are almost no weird things in Spanish like silent vowels silent letters stuff of that sort no in Spanish you pronounce exactly what is written so if you know the basic sounds of the letters and particularly those of the vowels which are the most different from English you can just read letter by letter pronouncing them all and you will pronounce Spanish correctly let's do these one more time with the B ba be bi bo bu with the de da de di do du i hope you're pronouncing with me as i read these with the f fa fe fi fo fu okay there is only a couple literally a couple cases in which we have a little bit of an exception so let me show you those two cases. We already said in the previous video about the alphabet that se has two sounds in Spanish. A strong sound like the K in koala k -k -k, and a soft sound like the C in Cinderella s -s -s, right? K -s. How do we know when we are reading a Spanish word whether we're supposed to pronounce the hard sound k or the soft sound s when we are using se well let me read for you this combination of se with the vowels it goes like this ka se si Ko, ku. Again, ka, se, si, ko, ku. If you paid attention to what I just pronounced, you will have noticed that I used the hard k sound, the k sound, with a, o, and u. Right? And I use the soft s sound with a and with e, right? Ka, se, si, ko, ku. There is an issue though. You do have in many Spanish words the combination of the hard sound of the, of the se k, and the vowel a, ke. Or the hard sound of the se k, and the vowel e. But we can't write it just by writing se and then the vowel, right? Because it will sound s. So what happens in this case? As I said, it's the only exception. You use ku. And ku in Spanish is always followed by u. Okay? or Q U if you want to pronounce them in English but as you will have noticed I'm really trying not to do that because it's important that you get used to the Spanish names and sounds of this letter of these letters so Q U E is pronounced K Q U E is pronounced K so now I am going to read this whole thing first I'm going to read the left column and then the right column it goes like this ka se si ko ku ke ki basically when you combine se with e and with e it makes a soft sound if you want to keep the hard sound you don't write se you write ku u this is not as weird as it seems if you think about a word that you use a lot in English, but that is a Spanish word, queso, 
Queso. How do you write queso? Q U E S O or in English Q U E S O, right? That Q U E sounds K, just like in Spanish, right? So that is the rule. Combine C with A O or U, it sounds K. Combine C with E and I, it sounds S. If you want to keep that hard sound, you do Q U. Okay. There's another letter that does something very similar in Spanish, G. Again, from the previous video, I hope you will remember that G has two sounds, a strong one, G, like the G in goat, and a soft one, like the H in house, right? G, What happens with G when you combine them with the vowels? The same thing that happens with C. It uses the hard sound with A, O, U, and the soft sound with E, E. So let me read this column for you. Ga, He, He, Go, Gu. Again. Ga, He, He, Go, Gu. And what happens? If I want to say Ge or Gi, you probably figure it out already, right? You use U. So I'm going to pronounce that second column, just those two syllables, ge, gi. Okay? Let's see how this works with some actual Spanish words. For example, this one. Cerdo. Cerdo. C and E. Right? With E, C sounds s soft, cerdo. Let's look at this one, the one I just mentioned, queso, queso, right? Queso. In order to do that k sound with E, we write Q U, queso. Another word, cigarro. This means cigar, right? It's very, very similar to the English. Right? C and I make the s sound, so cigarro. And quien, that means who, right? In order to have the k sound and the e sound, we write q u e, q u e, quien. Some more examples with g, gemido, g and e, right? So it sounds gemido. Whereas guerra, that means war, right? I want to have that hard g sound with the a, so I write the u in between. Guerra. Hero. G and e, so the g has the soft sound. Hero. But then guitarra, which is very similar to the English guitar, right? Well, just like in English, you don't pronounce that U. You say guitarra. Okay? These, the Q U E, Q U I, G U E, sorry, and G U I, those four are the only cases in which you do not pronounce a vowel in Spanish. In all other cases, you pronounce them A, E, E, O, U, and their sounds never change. So I would argue actually that Spanish is easier to pronounce than English. You will probably not agree if English is the only language you speak because it's the one you are you learn from the cradle, right? But at least I hope to have made the sounds of Spanish a little bit more familiar to you. One more time the vowels. A, E, E, O, U. Pronounce that with me one last time. A, E, E, O, U. And that's all for this video. Gracias, muchachos. Thank you. Hasta luego.